हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस डिस्कशन मीटिंग वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द एक्सपेक्टेशन रियलिटी एंड वट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग ए पी एच डी विथ वन ऑफ माई पी एच डी कॉलिग केविन ही इज़ ऑलरेडी इन हिज फाइनल ईयर ऑफ हिज पी एच डी सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन आई विल लीव इट टू केविन टू गिव अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट हिमसेल्फ ओके थैंक यू सो मच um well my name is kevin uh i am in the final year of my phd i have three to four months to go um what i did before is i worked at a university of applied science i uh, did my masters in special educational needs and my bachelor's in uh, pedagogy so uh, i decided that i wasn't ready to go to work yet I wanted to get some more knowledge and that's why I started by applying to different PhD programs and I simply didn't quit until someone hired me. Okay, that's kind of how it went. Well, I had a backup plan first. I want, my backup plan was go going to England to go for my PhD. But mm-hmm. um is it because that the, they have a shorter period for the PhD or nah, it's because, something else? Yeah, it's be, it's because uh here in in the Netherlands they they pay you for the PhD mm-hmm. of course, but in England um they don't. Uh which means it's really it's easier in- to get in you just apply. Okay. So you Oh, just, you mean getting the PhD but not completing uh, the PhD. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you could just enroll by paying 3000 um, a year mm. and then you just like a like a masters, mm. you know. But I wanted to do my PhD here because here it's a job. Mhm. So uh uh well my final resort was to pay to go to school and get my PhD. But luckily at the last minute they uh And I think you must me. be enjoying the perks that you get as a PhD in Netherlands. Right? Oh yeah, I, I enjoyed them a lot. They're really nice. Um, every time I, I find something interesting, I can just look it up on the on the library, and it's 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 fun. And you get a lot of freedom. I, as those are my my the the perks I really like is that I think you're you're really respected for what you know, mm. so you get the freedom. to uh, do what you think is necessary because you're the expert you're the expert on your on your subject mm-hmm. like in the beginning they tell you you're going to be the expert but it's not something you believe because other people are experts not not you but um yeah academia comes with its own freedom so if you decide you want to start working at 6 in the morning that's your prerogative yeah okay so based on the what you said now about the freedom so it is somewhat related to that so what are the uh, like just in brief what are the few things that you liked about doing the phd as you are almost completing your phd and what are the few things that you disliked about doing phd here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. according to you so what i really liked is the fact that um it's very multidisciplinary so you you can talk with anyone they'll all answer you like you're their colleague mm-hmm. so you you get the freedom to go uh, more to psychology in your phd or more to education maybe more to technology if you want mm-hmm. so you can lean in certain ways so, so you mean like it's very interdisciplinary so yes. yes i like that a lot mm-hmm. and i uh, um What I also like is if you start writing something then the way you write is like the base for the feedback. So you create the core of your argument and your papers and you create the core and uh then you get feedback which is fine you, you they take it to like an academic level but at the core it's still you. Mm-hmm. So it's um So the whole PhD process is affirming that you are good at thinking mm-hmm. about the subject and so. at the same time you're also improving your skills. Like. Yes. Yes, yes. So uh, the difference between doing your masters or your bachelors and doing your PhD is mm. 
that uh, in your PhD, it's 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 what you think that's at the core correct, mm. and uh, you you uh, you assume it's correct, and so uh, and you argue that it's it is correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it much much less of reproduction than uh, for uh, like a masters or something? Yeah, it's okay. very nice. And anything that I you dislike, dislike? <laughs> <laughs> I make a lot less money than before I started my PhD. Okay. So <laughs> okay. That is that is nice, but but I I like uh, I always say this on here also like to if you compare the phd uh, with other countries like not like germany there are many european countries where you also get a salary but if you compare to countries like us or other places only if talking about phd then the salary and the le the, the level of work depending on whether you're a student or a, doing a job is much much different because the stipend that they call it like when you're a student you get in us and the duration is also like four to six years and it's also not that high and there are other benefits but as you are a student that is completely like yeah, you know, I when feel, i compare that i feel a lot privileged yeah, like uh, I'm, i'm so lucky by doing my phd in this country yeah because it's 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 you actually you get paid for doing it yeah and it's it's such great I mean, work if you compare to the job obviously the salary is less but you get a degree and you get this experience and yeah. then you rediscover and re incre i mean reinvent yourself like so. actually you reinvent yourself and that's a beautiful thing um so at the end we're just really lucky that we can do this of course if you ask me what what if, what did you like the the least well Uh, at the beginning, I, I disliked uh, the feedback because I always mm -hmm. thought I was doing something wrong. Okay. But it's more, it's not about doing something wrong. It's about teaching you to think, think in a more different. abstract or okay. different way. But because, because it takes a long time for mm -hmm. you to have an image on what the whole field is saying. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it, that's just, just because... Yeah, yeah that, that was in the beginning I didn't like that that much but now it's just uh, it's just you know that you're going to get feedback and you gradually get less and less and less feedback too so that that's that so slowly you try to I mean you are getting the grasp of yes uh, writing in a, a more complete way yeah, yeah so in the beginning I used to write uh, I used to write more to explain things to myself mm-hmm And then uh, write the pa and then rewrite the paper in which I explained things to myself into an academic paper. Mm -hmm. And now it's it's I write the academic paper directly. Okay. So I, I think more about hmm, what does this mean, and I write it the way it should be written. So it's a, it's it's a gradual change. Yeah. So in a way, like your uh, the dislike has turned into a very good strength of yeah your, like the if you compare what you were initially and what you are now mm -hmm. taking back on only writing so in a way i mean it has helped you to grow like oh very much yeah yeah and also it helped help me uh, the whole process it's about uh, it's about growing as a as a person mm -hmm. and as an academic mm -hmm. so what that's done for me now is for instance i've been at uh, Uh, technical University of Eindhoven mm -hmm. and uh, when I'm there and I'm doing a small assignment or something it's um, you're being respected as a colleague because you're acting as a colleague so the four years that hasn't just made you uh, given you a label or given you some skills in writing mm -hmm. but it's given you the knowledge to be an equal Mm -hmm. and uh, actually feel like an equal mm -hmm. so that's a, it's a, it's it's something that you can't pay to get yeah that's a very powerful thing yeah okay uh so again going back to your uh the thing that you mentioned in the beginning of your phd so maybe as you are already ending it did you find any mismatch between the expectations that you had before starting the phd that what you are going to get with this time horizon did you have any mismatch between your expectation and the reality that you saw because 
Uh, yes. I mean, it, I guess um, what they what what, what they like uh, writing about on the internet is that it's very hard and there's like a, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of articles. Like, yeah. Especially if you go to Quora, also the most upvoted answers will be like. PhD is a stressful life and you don't have a balance. You're always working this. You have a lot of papers and these things. And I mean, till now, I don't agree with this completely. Mm-hmm. Maybe because I'm over optimistic or something. I don't know. Maybe the experience will change. But still, I think it depends on the individual. Like, that's why I said, like, just to take your opinion. Like, what was okay. your experience? like? So my opinion is... Um, I've read about there's a, like a hurdle at one at the end of the first year, and then like a hurdle at the second or the third. And there's a lot of hurdles apparently, but but I don't think of them like that. I I what I what I think about is you have to be a special type of person to do a PhD. Mm-hmm. Now, um, if you are the kind of person that decides that the PhD is the goal and can soldier on whatever happens to get that goal and can relate feedback, don't take it personally, but can take it at face value, relax, have a moment to think about it, do whatever other people say and go on, um, then I think you're going to be fine. Uh, personally, me, I was fine. I did. I, I, I think I'm, I'm happy with how I did it. But I did it, I did it because um, I soldiered on. I didn't take anything too personally. I didn't work too much. Mm-hmm. If you if you stress too much about doing it perfectly and making everyone happy, then it's going to be the worst four years in your life. Okay. So do what makes you happy. If that means you have to take an extra weekend day or you go two weeks with working three days a week, mm-hmm. That's fine because it's not a sprint; it's a marathon. Mm-hmm. So if you need to recharge, you have to recharge. But if you're here from nine in the morning till seven in the evening and you have no life, then that no life is also not going to support you by finishing it. Mm-hmm. So you have to have something that supports you. So it's very important to have a goal, to stick to it, and not overwork yourself. Okay, so so coming back to the question, it would be something like if I sum up, then have some expectation, but don't have over expectation or like uh, think that, okay, if I do a PhD, then I will reach to this level or maybe I will have 10 publications or don't have this kind of how would I nah, say like the, the it will never go the way that you think it's yeah it's, yeah that's what I'm saying yeah. like don't have, I mean have ambition have some expectation but don't have like something which is uh, unreachable like don't of think of that yes. from the beginning like take small steps and see how it is progressing yeah. depending on when we are starting it so be and flexible yeah but also be practical mm-hmm. so. reassess yourself depending on the situation yeah you are facing every few months or years whatever like. every few months you'll have like a decision to make yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and and you'll ask yourself should i go for like the uh, the high-end journal or should i just just do something more low end mm-hmm. and it, it, it's it's a it's constantly making decisions but it's really fun mm-hmm. so moving on to the next question mm-hmm. uh, as a phd in netherlands uh, is considered as a job so what advice would you give? Because I get a lot of comments about this. Like, you get a less salary. I mean, we already discussed about this, but yeah. still, I want to just hear your opinion or your experience. What advice would you want to give to people who are trying to distinguish between PhD and a software or IT job or any kind of job? Because PhD is also a job in Netherlands. So. In your eyes, how do you distinguish between both, like any other job and a PhD? Uh, if for me, that's that's uh, very clear. Mm. So, a PhD is something that, of course, you get paid, which mm. is nice. It's uh, but you do it for yourself. Mm-hmm. So you do your PhD for yourself. That that means that you are motivated because it's your goal mm. and you're investing time in it. So that means that you want to be finished on time. To get your PhD, mm-hmm. working for a boss, yeah. 
it That's doesn't motivate me that much. Mm -hmm. Of course, it can be motivating in some way. Maybe you're motivated by the paycheck you get, or maybe there is a personal plan to help you develop yourself, but it's not going to be as much as a PhD to, yeah. to develop yourself, mm -hmm. right? So uh, that's, that's the main thing. You're doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I would find it very difficult to work for a boss. Uh, so I love working for working on myself mm -hmm. now. So this is perfect for me. Okay. And if that's perfect for you, then a PhD is perfect for you too. Okay, that's a, that's a very powerful thing. <laughs> so finally, to wrap up, uh, what particular advice would you like to give to someone uh, who has already started a PhD and? especially in Netherlands, and he wants to continue his PhD till the end. Like, I mean, whatever I feel when you have this commitment, then there might be some cases, but still you should not think of ever going back. Like, of course. otherwise, why did do you join? Like, I mean, that's what I, that's how I see it. Like, so what advice would you give to someone who has already started because you have already ending the four years? So. Yeah. So having the commitment is absolutely essential, just like Sambit says. But the thing is that uh, commitment is going to uh, is, is going to lead you to the end. But it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Uh, you should be very flexible on how to get there. Mm -hmm. So uh, being commit being committed to acting on the the, the uh, research plan mm -hmm. as it was once written won't help you it'll, it'll help you have to be uh, committed to reach the end whatever way you can mm -hmm. now uh, if I was a first year PhD uh, I'd be told constantly that it's very important to network uh, I didn't believe that in the first year or the second year but in the now in the last year, it's really important because there's only a few s schools. It's a very small community that are of experts. Mm -hmm. So to younger PhDs, network is really important. You're going to have to f build, a, um, build a committee that will assess your work. Mm -hmm. You have to know those guys, so you have to network. So networking is important. And just keep your head down, soldier on, but don't work too much or you'll forget why you love doing it mm. you have to know like a burnout yes yes don't forget that you love doing this okay uh thank you very much for your time for this uh discussion so if you like this video then don't forget to smash the thumbs up button subscribe to somebody's channel and share this video among all your friends to help each other and i'll leave all the details of kevin in the description below so that you can contact him if you need help don't annoy him too much live long and prosper peace